blessed day to all of you who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Melchor Bernal SVD. Our celebration and devotion to St. Joseph will now begin. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things hath done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our still is ours today. Oh, may this gracious God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us. Preserve us in His grace Guide us in distress and free us from all sin till heaven we possess. We are gathered in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit to help us celebrate worthily this holy sacrifice of the Mass. Let us once again dispose ourselves to the healing presence of God. We humbly ask for His forgiveness for all the sins that we have committed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads, and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of prophet Jonah. Jonah was greatly displeased and became angry that God did not carry out the evil he threatened against Nineveh. He prayed, I beseech you, Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? This is why I fled first to Tarshish. I knew that you are gracious and merciful God, slow to anger, rich in clemency, 
loath to punish. And now, Lord, please take my life from me, for it's better for me to die than to live. But the Lord asked, have you reason to be angry? Jonah then left the city for a place to the east of it, where he built himself a haunt and waited under its shades to see what would happen to the city. And when the Lord God provided a gourd plant that grew up over Jonah's head, giving shade that relieved him from any discomfort, Jonah was very happy over the plant. But the next morning at dawn, God sent a worm that attacked the plant so that it withered. And when the sun rose, God sent a burning east wind, and the sun beat upon Jonah's head till he became faint. Then Jonah asked for death, saying, I would be better off dead than alive. But God said to Jonah, have you, have you reason to be angered over the plant? I have the reason to be angry, said Jonah, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, you are concerned over the plant which cost you no labor and which you did not raise. It came up in one night and in one night it perished. And you should I be concerned of Nineveh, the great city in which there are more than 120,000 persons who could not distinguish right hand to their left, not to mention the many cattle. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for you I call all day. Gladden the soul of your servant. For you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great and you are wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. We now honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us. And 
do not subject us to the final test. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading, once again, we revisit an episode that illustrates how tremendously merciful Yahweh or God is to the people of Nineveh. That mercy, that compassion was channeled through a reluctant prophet named Jonah who had to drag his feet to go to Nineveh and proclaim the mercy, the capacity of the Father to forgive everyone in Nineveh. And consequently, the population of Nineveh was saved. He used a very weak person to declare his tremendous and forgiving love to a big city called Nineveh. In the responsorial psalm, we again repeated this phrase, Lord, you are merciful and gracious. That mercy has been illustrated, underlined, and shown in the first reading. And gracious, what does, mean, what does it mean to be gracious? It comes from the word grace, and grace is the presence of God. It is the presence of the Spirit. And in the Gospel, we revisit also the Lord's Prayer as given to us by Luke. It is not only a formal prayer, it is an expression of a desire for intimacy with the Father. The Father always comes. He wants to love us so much. But oftentimes, we are distracted by so many cares, superficial attractions, so many interests that make us move out of focus. Our model to be focused on the Father is Jesus himself. He will always repeat that I'm here doing the business of the Father, the Father sent me, so on and so forth, until the last end of his life. He always addressed his Father. How focused a person can be to the Father? Our daily cares, our problems, our desire to be loved, in our day-to-day -day encounter with people, in day, our day-to-day -day engagement with life's difficulties and problems, they distract us. But also, if we shift our position, our gaze, and looking at all these things, these gifts, these problems, as God's calling us to remain focused on the Father, as we pray in the words of our Father, to give us the things, our daily sustenance, to be able to forgive others so that we will travel lightly when we carry so much baggage because we are nurturing grievances, anger, hatred. Our journey towards the Father will be very difficult. Just like Jonah, he couldn't accept the, command, the, the mandate of Yahweh to go to Nidibeh. In our day-to-day -day Christian living, these cares would drag us. We can't move swiftly. We can't move gracefully, as the psalm would say. So, the gospel reminds us to, from a, the, the, the moment we open our eyes after our sleep, to the, the moment that we close our eyes, even in our dreaming, if we focus on the Father, our perspective will change, our attitude will change, we will become more gracious and merciful, compassionate and empathetic. 
always focus on the Father, everything will change according to His love for us. When our perspective, our fundamental attitude to life comes from our intimacy with the Father, everyone will become our sisters and brothers. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father with complete trust as we say, Father, give us our daily bread. Father, give us our daily bread. That the Church throughout the world may always express a deep trust in coming to the Father's kingdom of love, justice, and peace. We pray. Father, Father give, give us our, our daily, daily bread. bread. That amidst the difficulties of life, we go on praying and never, never give in to temptation. We pray. Father, Father give, give us, us our, our daily, daily bread. bread. That we may have sufficient bread to meet our daily needs, to a greatness of heart and forgive our enemies. We pray. Father, Father give, give us, us our, our daily, daily bread. bread. That the sick, those who experience serious difficulties in life, may be helped by their neighbors, and they carry their cross. We pray, Father, Father give, give us our daily bread, bread, that the dead may see the Lord's face to face in His eternal home in paradise. We pray, Father, Father give, give us our, our daily bread, bread, for our frontliners, healthcare workers, and other essential workers, that God may cover them with His mantle protection, Sustain them and give them strength as they perform their respective duties. May they have enough medical provision, health care facilities, and other resources to use for everyone who needs cure. We pray. Father, Father give, give us, us our, our daily, daily bread. bread. In silence, let us pray for other intention. Heavenly Father, we thank you for listening to our petitions. Help us to trust always in your loving ways and to accept your will in our lives. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man by your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, <clears throat> he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it <clears throat> and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Arnold and Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy us. Jesus, words of love, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. of God, a family of believers, disciples of the Lord, united in one spirit, ignited by the fire, still burning through the ages, still present in our lives. in our lives. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We blessed St. Joseph, a person according to the heart of God. You were found worthy to care for God's own mother and be a father of his beloved. We honor you in our person, the choice of eternal father, who wished to share with you his power over his own begotten, only begotten son, the choice of divine son, himself who wanted to be subject to you and be called son of Joseph, the choice of the Holy Spirit who singled you out to be the protector and chaste companion of his immaculate spouse, Mary, most holy. We share your joy that you were permitted to cherish the child Jesus with tenderly love and care. We reverence the self-control and continuance which you manifested during those years when you live under the same roof with the Virgin Mother. Praise be the Lord who has given you such a sterling character that the Virgin Mother could place her full trust in you to protect her. Be blessed and praise our Father and Protector for living a life so worthy of imitation. Make us zealous to follow in your footsteps. Petitions. Blessed Joseph, faithful spouse of Mary, ever virgin, and guardian father of the child Jesus, we come before you to offer you our filial love and gratitude. 
We thank you for loving care, which you bestowed faithfully on Mary and the Divine Child. Show the same fatherly care now to us, who are members of Christ in the mystical bond of his body and blood. Blessed Father and Patron, be our intercessor with God. Implore for us that purity of heart which you always manifested in all your undertakings. Teach us your li lively faith, your prompt obedience to God's will, your unsuming way, and your great love for Jesus the Lord. Glorious Saint Joseph, we implore your aid for the entire believing community, our Holy Father and all the bishops, priests, and religious of the Church. Guide and assist also all our temporal rulers. Be the model of patience and diligence for all workers, and to come to the aid of the poor and the afflicted, so that they obtain what they need to live worthy Christian lives. Be with us above all at the hour of death. Allow us to die in the arms of Jesus and Mary as you did, by the assistance of your powerful prayers. Intercede, we beg you, for faithful departed, especially the deceased of members of our families, that they may be admitted to the glorious vision of the Trinity God. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions through the intercession of Saint Joseph. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, our protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had course to your protection or implore your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, we come before you and humbly beg you, do not despise our petition, guardian father of our Savior, graciously receive them. Amen. Litany of Saint Joseph. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Rede Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, Pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Diligent Protector of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph Most Just. Pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste. Pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent. Pray for us. Joseph Most Strong. Pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of artisans. Pray for us. Glory of home life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Solace of the wretched. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Jesus. He made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his procession. Let us pray. O God, God, in your ineffable providence, providence, you were pleased to choose Blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you, 
that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for, for us. us. Amen. Bye now. 